Raina's room. My name is Koichi. I probably look like a smart nerd that likes to study, but to be honest, I don't particularly like to study. Why are you studying then? You ask. Ah,、uh, that's because if I'm studying, I can stay out of trouble. <laughs> that's right. The girl that sits next to me in class is Natsuki. She is totally opposite to me, and I just keep studying so as not to be picked on by those people. Well, she's never even talked to me. I'm home. Hey, how's it going? You're home today. That's unusual. We need quality time sometimes. My father runs a business, and he's hardly home. So. How's school going? Well, ah,、uh, originally, any girlfriend yet? No way. That's good then. What? Isn't happy that I'm not popular? Actually, you have a fiance. What? What? A fiance? Like to get married? That fiance? It's sudden, but. I'll introduce you too. Huh? Um. Excuse me. What? And I was supposed to get married to this impossible partner. The next day, I'm so nervous. Nothing would happen, but we are still a boy and a girl. <sighs> Absolutely gross. <laughs> hey, don't you dare think anything gross. My little anticipation was crushed by her immediately. And leave for school earlier than me so that people won't find out about us. Ah, <sighs> after this, I have to start thinking about dinner. Oh, hey, hey! What? How? How feed? What the hell are you doing laundry now? Huh? Everybody knows that we do laundry in the morning. Are you happy with curry? Oh, curry? Yes. Is it okay? Hey, don't put chicken in it. Oh, but I only have chicken for protein. <laughs> oh, come on, pork is the best for curry. I <sighs> will go get some. Anyway, Dad is totally crazy. He had a house ready and put us here together. Ah, wow! Girls smell so nice. Hey! What? You, you touched me, didn't you? Oh, gross!、Uh, I don't think I can live like this. A few days later, after a few days, it was obvious. So we were both consumed by our new lives. We have to do something. Listen, if we stay this way, we'll be exhausted. It's too much. <sighs> I'm listening. So, why don't we set some rules? Rules? We should share the house chores too.、Uh, wait, I, I, I can't cook. I'll keep doing it then, but. You have to eat what you are served. What? Cook yourself if you don't like it. <sighs> fine. You are in charge of laundry then. Yeah, fine. We can take turns on cleaning. Since then, it went a little smoother. We learned to compromise, I guess. Oh well, I'll try to cook today. Is this edible? <laughs> There, eat. It tasted just like it looked. Oh, taste poisonous! A few days later, shit, is she cooking again? Oh hey, I just made dinner. What? Oh, did you make this natsuki? <laughs> sure I did. I strictly followed the recipe. Wow, she's been practicing. It's amazing. Really? <laughs> yes, I'm so glad. Oh, she's cute. 
<laughs> Why don't you be like that all the time? <laughs> What? Why do you usually force yourself to act tough? You're actually adorable. But you always act tough and strong to me. Oh, oh, well, it's because of my <laughs> trauma. What? According to her story, she was targeted by a stalker when she was in junior high. Since then, she made efforts to look intimidating to keep guys away. It made sense to me that Natsuki gets angry so easily. About dinner tonight? Yeah? How about hot pot? Hot pot? Yeah, I feel like it. Sure, why not? Good. Go shopping after school then. Sounds good. Now, she's fine with me going with her. We bought so much stuff. <laughs> Probably because I was hungry. Yeah, I get that. If you go shopping when you're hungry, you tend to waste money. I wish she smiled like this all the time. True to that, we just bought ice cream that we didn't need. Mm, hey, you don't have to point it out. And you bought that sweet bread. More things than hot pot ingredients. <laughs> so you were just laughing it off? Oh, well, well. Oh, I need to go to the toilet. Can you stay here? Oh, okay. She's taking so long. But girls usually take more than boys, I think. But what if she wasn't feeling well or something? It's fine, just a little. <gasps> Stop. You don't have to be so scared, huh? Koichi. Stop harassing my wife. W what? Wife? What are you saying? My wife is shaking. Did you make her? What? If you hurt my wife, I'll never forgive you. Shit. Uh, I'm turned off. <sighs> are you okay? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, wait. Am I thinking that he was so cool? You are safe now. Uh, since that incident, My heart's been pounding. Natsuki, aren't you eating? What? Here, dig in. Oh, thanks. Mm, he's not even my type. Why? Why does it make me so comfortable? It was yum, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. You didn't eat much. Are you feeling okay? She may be still scared from earlier. Oh, really? I ate quite a lot. Did you? <laughs> yes, no need to worry. It's hard not to. Mm, I'm totally fine, I tell you. You seem down since we got home. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Is she gonna yell at me or hit me? <laughs> no reaction. She's so close. What's up? Uh, uh, you don't want me to touch you. <laughs> It's okay. I'm your wife. Oh. What happened that night stays between her and me. My name is Koichi. I'm a simple introverted otaku courage student that loves anime. I look simple, so of course, I don't have a girlfriend and feel like I don't really need one. But I do want to be popular. <sighs> What should I eat for lunch? I have a little time until my next lecture, so maybe I should take a quick bite and go to the study room. Hey Koichi! I have something to talk to you about. This is Ryota. Unlike me, 
he's extremely extroverted, but for some reason, he often tries to talk to me. He wasn't a bad guy to be around, so we ended up becoming friends. You know, I'm starting to worry about your future. You're not comfortable around the ladies, so I'm starting to worry that you are going to end up old and alone. <sighs> That's really none of your business. So, anyways, I added you into a matchmaking event happening soon, so you better come. What? Oh, I'm not going. It's a two-on-two -two thing, so if you don't come, we'll have an odd number of people. That'll be pretty boring and pretty rude to the girl too. Oh. Ah, <sighs> you can just invite some other guy. I'm hosting this event for you, so it wouldn't make sense if the star doesn't come. So yeah, I'll send you the details later. In the end, I wasn't able to turn down the invitation and the day of the matchmaking event came. I was meeting up with Ryota first, but when we got to the meeting location, the girls were already there. Hey girls, sorry for making you wait. Oh, no worries. We just got here too. What? What should I do? Oh, it's my first time at a matchmaking event, and the only time to talk to girls is during class. Ah, <sighs> wow, I'm so nervous. I'll start the introduction. I'm Rota. Nice to meet you, girls. M uh, my name is Koichi. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry about him. It's his first time at one of these events, so he said he was super nervous. Well, yeah, you were the one that forced me here. It's the first time at a matchmaking event, Koichi-kun. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we'll introduce ourselves next. My name is Lisa. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, this is Natsuki. It's her first time at a matchmaking event too, so she's probably nervous. The same way Koichi confused, right? The girls sitting in front of us were both beautiful. Lisa was cute like a model, and Natsuki was pretty and held a mysterious vibe. Almost like a goth girl. After talking a little, Rota suggested that we should do a game as an icebreaker. Okay, so I'll ask the ladies a question. What do you girls do on the weekend? Mm, I like to go shopping. I usually go out on the weekend. Uh, nothing really. Alright, next question. What body parts do you find attractive in guys? Well, it's not necessarily a body part, but I think muscles are attractive. Oh, uh, I don't really have one. Ryota, who was used to these types of events, was good at carrying on a conversation with the girls. Still, Natsuki didn't seem as engaged in the conversation and only answered with a few words. Maybe she's in the same situation as me and was forced here so that there'd be enough people? Oh, excuse me? Do you want to drink anything? Um, I'm okay. Uh, oh, okay. I did my best to talk to her, but I wasn't very good at making small talk. I didn't know what to say to her, so it was quiet between us. 
Rota and Lisa were chatting excitedly like that, and by the time I noticed, we were leaving the restaurant. Hey Koichi, I'm going to drop Risa home. So you are in charge of the unfriendly girl. What? Hey, what do you mean I'm in charge of her? Lisa, let's stop by somewhere. I can walk you home. After we paid the bill, Ryota and Lisa walked away excitedly into the neon lit street. I don't know what Yota even meant by in charge. Is it rude if I just went home? Uh, hey, do you wanna grab another drink somewhere too? I bet if you don't want to, you can say no. Uh, sure, I'll go with you. What? Oh, really? Although I didn't think she would, she accepted my invitation. We decided to grab a drink at another place. I was the one that invited her to drink with me, but what should we even talk about? Oh, uh, do you have any favorite movie recommendations? Uh, not really. I don't watch movies much. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry. I have no more topics to bring up. I need to talk about something interesting. Man, if Ryota were in my position, he would know how to make her talk. I tried to start a conversation a couple more times after that, but. They didn't last more than a couple sentences. I was desperately thinking about how I need to come up with a good topic of conversation. Uh, I actually like an anime called Brabra. The visuals are really good. Plus, all the outfit designs and the background details are really intricate. So I was really amazed. Oh, oh, sorry for rambling. You are probably not interested. Oh, d that's not true. Really? You don't have to be polite with me. I'm sorry to be honest. I'm not really used to talking to girls, so I don't know what to talk about in these types of situations. <laughs> I'm honestly not a great person. I don't have many friends in college, and it's not like I'm super smart either. I'm not extroverted or have good communication skills like Yota. You are probably bored sitting here with me.、Uh, sorry again. Maybe we should head home. I can help you get a ride home. Hey, I, I don't think that. Um, Koichi, I think you're a really nice guy and a good person in general. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you for today. I'll see you next time. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's probably not going to be a next time. With it, I'd I'd like to hang out with you again. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh,、uh, I shouldn't have said something weird like that.、Uh, no, I mean yes. I'd like to hang out with you again. I thought today's matchmaking event would end in failure as expected, but to my surprise. Natsuki asked me out on a date. After that, Natsuki and I exchanged phone numbers, and I watched her leaving the taxi. Natsuki didn't talk much, and I couldn't really tell what she was thinking. 
But maybe she did have a little bit of fun? I didn't think she'd ask to go on a date with me, so I'm super happy! But we didn't have anything to talk about in the few hours we were together today, so what were we going to talk about when we hang out the whole day? I need to prepare conversation topics for the date when I get home. I came super prepared on the day of the date. I didn't know the type of things Natsuki liked, so I planned a couple of date ideas. I even included watching a movie in the plan, which meant that we wouldn't need to talk during those few hours. I can dress cool like Natsuki, but I think my casual outfit should be okay, right? Um, Koichi kun? Yes. When I turned around, a beautiful and well dressed girl was standing next to me. Um, uh, it's me, Natsuki. What? Uh, uh, Natsuki? But. Oh. Oh, you are dressed so differently. The girl in front of me was Natsuki. She looked like a completely different person from the ghost girl I met at the matchmaking event. Well, this is a true me. The girl you saw at the matchmaking event was... I dressed that way because Lisa told me it would be better too. But... I don't think that style looked very good on me. No, the way you were dressed before was cool too, but you look super cute today. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Thank you. What the hell? She looks so cute. I didn't think she dressed this girly and cute. Oh, okay. Should we start going then? Okay. If I'm being honest, I was completely dumbfounded by the change in Natsuki that all the plans I had in mind disappears, and my mind was blank. Thankfully, I remembered the movie, so we decided to head to the theater. The movie was really good. Yeah, especially the ending scene. We were both nervous and awkward at first, but we started to get more comfortable with each other as we talked. Um, to be honest, my outfit today, it was inspired by a character in the anime you were talking about. Because I watched the anime and thought it was cute. No way! You watched the anime? I'm happy to hear that! I like what you are wearing today a lot. I think it really suits you well. Oh, you too, Koichi. I think the way you dress today suits you really well. Really? I kind of assumed today was a date. So I tried to put effort in the way I dressed. Oh, <laughs> you're considering this a date? I'm glad. Hearing you say that makes me happy. <laughs> I realized that Natsuki's presence in my heart was getting bigger and bigger. I didn't just think that she looked cute on the outside, but I was also attracted to her actions and the way she thinks. On our way home, we bumped into a familiar face. Oh, hey Natsuki! What are you doing here? Oh, more importantly, who is that handsome guy next to you? Oh, um, uh, this is... Even if you try to dress cute, you're probably not good enough for him. You should just introduce him to me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natsuki's friend, Lisa. 
we had already met at the matchmaking event, but it seems like she didn't remember me. Of course, who would remember as introvert like me? Oh, speaking of handsome guys, do you remember Ryota from the matchmaking event we went to? Ah, uh, he was a mistake. I hung out with him just because he was good looking, but it seems he's letting the fact that I was with him get to his head. Oh, I was so turned off. He's just a college student, so it's not like he has a lot of money either, so I ghosted him. <laughs> oh, wait. Are you the guy that was with him? Uh, Koji? Oh no, Koichi! Yeah. Oh my god, you look so different that I didn't even notice. You look so much better like this. If I'm being honest, I thought you were my type the moment I saw you. Oh, unlike Ryota, who only has his good looks going for him, you seem honest and genuine, totally my type. I was extremely uncomfortable by the fact that the girl in front of me was trying to fit herself in between Natsuki and I. Well, Natsuki said she has plans today, so you should go on a date with me after this. Luigi. I'm really sorry, but fake girls like you and my type. Uh, what? I said, I don't want to go on a date with trashy girls who will openly insult Natsuki and my friend. Even I know that Yota likes to play around with girls and can get cocky at times. But even then, he's a good friend and even nicer to girls. Any girl that plays with his feelings is worth less than trash. <laughs> what? Besides, unlike you, Natsuki is a wonderful girl. Before you start talking badly about how people look, maybe you should fix how you are on the inside first. How dare you? Men get so confident when they start to become popular with girls. <laughs> I can't waste my time like this. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for making you feel upset. Oh, you didn't. I should actually be thanking you. My chest feels lighter now that you told her straight up. I only told her the truth. <laughs> oh, well... You're the first person who tried to see the real me. I... I never liked being crowds, so... People started to avoid me too. Um, it's the first time that someone said I was a wonderful person. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what, uh, what's wrong? I can't hold my feelings in anymore. Koichi, I... I love you. Um, will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end. I will be grateful if you could subscribe and comment.